so uh, uh, I'm gonna need. I might need Fred to chime in here on the pronunciation of, uh, of yeah. a French word, as he is the guy that knows that information. What? Uh, how, how do we? How do we pronounce this one here? What's the What's the name of the map? Uh, Vosges. Vosges. No, you you guys are actually not too far from it. Okay. Uh, Vosges. Vosges. I thought for sure we were Vosges. butchering it. Okay. Vosges. It's a, it's a tough one. It's really not. It doesn't feel all that French, honestly. There's a there's a very <laughs> I don't know easy what happened joke there. here. <laughs> I want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> I need to hear it now. The Vosges front. Le front not de Vosges. Today. Leaving the Vosges alone today. Mais tu vas au Vosges. Je vais au Vosges. Je reviens des Vosges. Looks like yeah, PC that... Mayo had a player disconnect. Um, huh. We'll see if they can get that player back in. I'm not sure if it will be live. We'll see. Uh, telling from the squads we're looking at here, was this uh, was this the same setup that SMW was using before? Um, it is interesting. There it seems they're running one gas squad, which we didn't really see them use yesterday. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how that goes for them, especially on this map, which has relatively long trenches. As I mentioned yesterday, usually the gas is more effective on maps with a sort of thinner trench, or not thinner, but uh, you know, shorter trenches. This map is a map which which is very wide, and is so the trenches are very long which means you can't gas large sections of the trench so it'll be interesting to see how that works for them looks like pc is having a few connection issues and not only that but we keep restarting and the entente is never attacking first so ah, ah yes <laughs> our good luck uh, from yesterday seems to have run out when it comes to getting the entente <laughs> to attack first <laughs> so it's just a roll of the dice exactly oh boy okay it does feel sometimes like certain maps, it's more favored for them to attack first, though. This map is definitely one of the maps where I've had the most trouble in the past getting the Entente to attack first. Is there a, is there a certain uh, ritual, perhaps a prayer <laughs> or dance, uh, that we could be doing? Uh, maybe know, a maybe particular should, meme in chat that maybe could... We should, uh, maybe if we can get some penises in chat, maybe that'll help out, I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> I don't know what a penis is. Uh, <laughs> it's a yeah, it's a redone meme, so oh, that's um, gonna be gross. Well, it's kind of a finished meme that became a redone meme because gotcha. yeah. Anyways. <laughs> uh, okay, there we go. We seem to have all eight uh, PC players connected. Uh, PC, of course, being pest control. For those of you wondering, yeah. uh, not just referring. There are no console players. Uh, we uh, we do not allow peasants in games such as Verdun. Uh, I couldn't imagine playing this game with a controller. <laughs> Are you sure looks about like, that? <laughs> looks like they're deciding just to go live with the Germans attacking first, as both team captains have agreed that this is okay. So, <laughs> all right, unprecedented. <laughs> Okay, so as you said, this is the first time we've seen this map in this uh, in this uh, in this tournament. Uh, what uh, what strategies uh, are typically going to be the winners on a map like this? Well, this is going to be a map where the the trenches are so wide that we're going to see a lot of flanking, and we're going to probably see plenty of footholds and lots of in trench fighting. You know, when you first look at a map like this, it seems like the no man's land is very big, so you're going to see a lot of picking, which you do. But once people get in those trenches, you're going to see a lot of good close entrenched fighting these are very good trenches for that uh, close quarters combat style wow we uh we may not see much of that close quarters combat as pc has just set up the firing squad once again just lined up in that trench and smw having trouble getting out of their spawn just like we saw yesterday yeah uh, seems like, with one e in the cucks seems like the weak point right now for pc is that left side which they seem to be aware of as they are rotating more players over there meeks being the only one there but they're bringing over posh and voltaire as well which should shut down this SMW. SMW push on the left side by uh, CPU and Overlord. SMW looking spread out. So yeah, I, uh, I get the feeling that if, if SMW wants to just turn this into a shootout, see if they can get some some distant picks, that might not work out for them. No, they're definitely going to want to try and get closer, uh, use their numbers as, if they can as an advantage and kind of push into that trench. Fabian trying to maybe pick a few players. He's definitely one of the few players on this uh, on this uh, SMW side that that can take one on ones against these PC players. Just lost but, one there against Posh Brother. Yeah. Looks like Banshee doing well for himself so far. Three kills. Um, only one having much success so far against PC's uh, long range picking style. 
And and uh, and if we could, Fred, uh, could we get a, a quick highlight on Zab, who seems to be uh, just running the show over here. He has sat on this side of the map from the beginning and appears to be absolutely unchallenged. Uh, also, shows. I mean, just all of all of PC doing very well. Meek's going nine and zero right now. Zab six and zero. Uh, Sam next with three kills and zero deaths. Just very strong play from PC in their entirety, and they're going to go on the offensive almost immediately. PC having a chance to uh, gain a trench here and pick up a point early. Yeah. And it's important to note that there is only one fallback trench on this map, which means if they capture this trench and are able to defend it, that will be the half. So this is a map, like I said earlier, that can go by very, very quickly if a team is being dominant, such as PC is right now. Neek's got a one-on-one -on -one here. Now, areas of this trench that we're going to want to look out for control is definitely this very top hill part of the trench is a very important part to control. When P PC can get control of that and maintain it, it's going to be very hard for SMW to uh, get back into this trench. But they are holding oh, yeah. on to this right side now. But Unfortunately, you can see Zab, Meeks, and Voltaire taking the high ground here uh, and just uh, making SMW constantly shoot uphill as, uh, as we see two of them get wiped. And Sandmike's getting into that right side and just wreaking havoc behind their lines. Fabian now the only one left in the trench and he, he goes down. That's an entire wipe for SMW as PC capped the trench. There is the point. We are already uh, close to finishing up the half at this pace. PC <laughs> might be uh, ending it pretty quickly here. And we will be coasting right into that third place game. <laughs> yeah. CPU spawning all on his lonesome. The rest of SMW is spawning again, but their lives seem relatively short in the face of a PC fire from the hill. Just overwhelming them. Um, both, I mean, so again, have, is, uh, go ahead. Uh, both Zab and Meeks with 12 kills and 2 deaths. And we have 3 players on SMW with 0 kills. Just uh, sure. Would you say that is a common occurrence in competitive play to be uh, man, about 5 minutes into the game and we have 3 players in, the, in, one, in a single squad without kills? On on Vaj, when you have a dominant team, it's definitely something that can happen. Um, obviously with 2 evenly matched teams, that doesn't usually happen. I just think when you have PC who are, who are just... I mean, really the only people right now who can even you know give PC a challenge are when he so I, I, it doesn't surprise me that this is the type of result we're seeing from this match it does seem like SMW is trying to commit more uh, to those picker roles in back utilizing the the high ground here um, in the in the back of their spawn uh, although it just doesn't seem like their their shoot just their pure shooting ability is uh, is, is is enough well, Banshee having a little bit of success, five kills for him, but still that's putting him as top fragger on the team, which compared to the 14 kills of Zab is just not much in comparison. Even Fabian, one of the standout players, uh, sitting at 2 and 11 right now. Uh, although it looks like we've got a mass spawn on the left side here for SMW, see if they can get past Posh Brother and dig into that trench. Yeah, it looks like they have gotten in that trench, and it's going to be Nordmon and Sam next to stop them. Tyler, though, might as well, might also come from above, but he's going to get taken out. Good push here by SMW. Oof. And that's going to leave the that's going to leave the hill open too. So if Danielle and Cannon Fodder can push up, but they stop short. I don't know why Ooh. they're just sitting there. They really need to be pushing up on that hill and sort of capitalizing on that that chance they had. Yeah, PC they really was, had their backs turned to half the field there. They could have could have turned it on them. But they, they take a little bit too slow of a time to do that. Looks like they're just going to hold that position and try and spawn their team close so they can retake this hill. Um, and Posh Brother and Tyler are going to be taking a recontrol of the hill. And it's 12 seconds now for SMW to get a foothold over time, or it will be the end of this half. Uh, very few explosives used so far, I've noticed. Uh, have we seen an airstrike? I haven't even seen very many grenades um, used. No, we only have one squad in the server that has grenades, and we have no artillery squads, so... Plus, the match is just so quick, there's not really many chances for those uh, those abilities to be used. Wow. 
Well, that was a quick one, guys. <laughs> yep, we'll be going in, into the second half now, and I'd, I'd imagine that'll be just about as quick as that one. Indeed. Yeah, we are we are looking at a, a pretty pretty one sided match here. I think um, uh, after this, of course, we have uh, this is going to be the end of the semifinals. Uh, up next, we're, we are going to have the third place match, uh, which uh, appears that it will be between uh, Cuck and SMW. Um, after that, we have the Grand Championship uh, between uh, Pest Control and 1E. Yeah, and I can't stress enough how exciting that match is going to be. That really is going to be the highlight of the tournament. I mean, as you as you were saying yesterday, um, uh, the Team Cuck uh, did have a, a couple of those high-end players. Um, but just didn't have the across-the-board skill um, that that one E does, and I, and it definitely seems like we're seeing something very similar here. Yeah. Yes. Definitely. Don't forget, chat. We do have giveaways going every five minutes. Uh, Sweet ruin uh, is. Absolutely crushing it back there for us. Thank you so much, Lori. Yep, and right back into the action. I believe we are live with the second half. So, PC going to be pushing up very quickly. Um, and SMW having some success on their defense. The Posh brother is close, and Nordmon and the Meeks pushing up on that middle finger. Going to get into the middle of the trench and probably wreak some havoc here on Banshee and Overlord. Meeks taking them both out. CPU seems unaware that his teammates have died behind him. And that's PC with a foothold in the trench already. Storm Ginger. Oof. Again, this, this SMW team seems to have unaware. very little very little communication going on. Mm -hmm. and that's going to be them pretty much wiped. Cannon fodder, the only one left. They will spawn here on the left here, and Meeks might have trouble with them as there Cannon is a large fodder team. again, completely unaware that he is being snuck up on. It just seems like SMW does it, like you said, is having serious communication issues. Not just with, they're not hitting their shots, they're not coordinating their attacks, although they aren't. Uh, it definitely seems like they're just they're just not in the game right now. Yeah, I mean it's definitely got to be disheartening that first half going by so quickly. But this is an easier trench to defend than the other trench, so if they can put up a good fight here. We do see PC pushing hard on the left, but SMW have retaken control of the middle. Meeks on the far right side, though. Could still cause some trouble. And Banshee doing some good work. Fabian as well, taking out those PC players as they enter the trench. SMW actually, yeah, getting uh, getting a little bit of control over this over this trench, but it is uh, they are hanging on by a thread here. Oh, Interesting way CPC used to choose to use the double gas squad. That means they'll be having those uh, MP18s on uh, Posh Brother. And oh, was this not live? I may have been incorrect with that uh, uh, being live. Or what? I didn't see anything <laughs> in the chat. I'm a little confused right now. I'm Something funky lie. just happened. Yeah. Uh, I think we are going to reach out to the admin here. Uh, who who is admitting the match? Uh, Zap is admitting the match. I Zap, believe. Okay. Um, well, no, Zab just said in the chat, uh, in the in-game uh, chat, Zab just said super confusing. So I guess that explains it. I guess we were live, but <laughs> well, it would appear that Zab done goofed. Ah, which okay. Um, okay. Now know. we are getting on with the second half. <laughs> Uh, the second half of the second half. I'm not entirely sure what is happening, but we'll just uh, go. I, th I think we know how it ends. We'll roll with the punches, yeah. <laughs> but you know what they say? It's not about where you're going. It's the journey to get there, right? And that's what we're on right now. PC right. fight against SMW again to get into this trench. Um, again, I was mentioning they're running the double gas squad, which is definitely interesting. Um, playing around with those grenades a little bit. I think they might just be feeling relatively confident and just saying, hey, well, let's use those grenades, have some fun while we're playing this match. Um, PC Tyler coming through with a really nice double kill in the middle of the trench there. Yeah, and Samnick's going to walk up behind Banshee and hit, kill him with a shovel. Um, 
That That's really right. seems to be a theme of the game so far in that these uh, SMW is just getting caught with their backs turned over and over again. Yeah, a lot of very big lack of communication from them, and also just excellent flanking and kind of maneuvering skills from PC to know what positions SMW are at and how they can kind of get around those positions without being caught. Uh, we are we are yet to see uh, a gas drop here. Uh, what is what is the cooldown on that? It is does take about two minutes from the start of the match for you to get your first gas drop. Gas, gas drops, so they might just be getting them right about now. And I'm not even sure if they'll use them. They might favor uh, just using the grenade abilities that the gas squad has. The gas squad having, of course, uh, the most grenades of any squad in the game. I do believe. <clears throat> Though it does look like they have a bit of a, a hole in their defense on this far right side. Arcana might be able to get in, um, cause some damage. Arcana was definitely good in close range uh, from what we saw yesterday, especially in that match against Cuck. Yeah, but it does seem like PC is somewhat aware of him being there, or Samnix isn't. But now they will pick up be. a couple kills. Oh, Comrade right. Bravo gonna be instantly aware of that. And Danielle gonna try and just maintain a foothold here and maybe spawn in some of her team, but... Oh, looks like Nord and Samnix don't notice her. And she will spawn in three wow. of her team. Wow, good play three there. Three teammates spawn right into the trench. Danielle picking up a kill and those three spawns. Meek's now gonna try and take on these three players by himself. And it's not gonna go well for him. And we also have Fabian in that a little entry trench for them. I'm gonna spawn Banshee and Overlord as well. SMW setting up a decent little defense here to see if they can hold it. Yeah, definitely doing a better job than they did in the first half. And they will recapture the trench, in fact. So that's gonna we be a capture for a SMW. Tied half. Yeah, good capture there by SMW. PC are gonna try and take the trench back again. But Fabian takes down uh, Comrade Bravo, and Banshee goes to take down Voltaire. Overlord running into a barrage of bullets there. Tyler, Nord, and Posh moving together as a unit, just taking out... Cannon Any fodder uh, and, and Overlord need to, need to make a rotation here over and take out Nord. We're yeah, gonna he's lose gonna this trench. Ooh, he misses two, Nord misses two shots there on Cannon Fodder going in for the melee attack, I think. Uh, cannon, cannon Fodder still unaware of Nord's position even after two shots are fired at him. I, I, just I can't believe Nord gave him that many chances. Still just crazy how unaware this SMW team is at times. But still putting up a valiant defense here. CPU blowing himself up. Uh, and taking two with him. Yeah, so a bit of a... Suicide bombing run for him, kamikaze style, I guess. I mean, as far as war tactics go, that is forward thinking. <laughs> Meeks and Comrade Bravo are gonna have to face the SMW spawn here, and it seems like they'll be pretty successful and wipe that out. That's all of SMW down, and we're definitely gonna likely see a PC capture here of this trench. Yeah, SMW is unlikely to be able to regain a foothold here uh, as they are just spawning in in a second here. There they are. They do spawn close though, so if they very can get close. in very quickly, they might be able to cause some sort of preventative measure. But oh. quick, quickly going down, good communication there from PC to quickly be aware of exactly where SMW spawned and just get all eyes on them and rifles firing at them. That was... That was uh, of eight players, I believe six were dropped uh, immediately out of spawn. And here they go spawning again on that far right side. Looks like PC are going to let them have it as they've just got the capture. They're going to say, okay, you can have that far right side. Let us reorganize our team. We'll wait for some of our teammates to respawn, and then we'll come in and, uh, and attack you. They may even be unaware of just how many SMW players there are on that side of the map. Yeah, they seem to be uh, reconfiguring here. Okay. Are we uh, are we seeing a little bit of trolling here from the PC team? We may be seeing a uh, bit of a a party happening here on the far left side of the trench. 
Adorable, guys. This is making me somewhat uncomfortable. <laughs> Well, of course, they are aware that as long as they have all eight of their players in the trench, uh, SMW cannot capture it, so this, I guess, is technically a valid strategy. Uh, oh. I think Overlord is about to make a discovery here. <laughs> yeah, I <did. laughs> And there you go. And here they go. Oh, uh, Fabian, the no! Races. Fabian, no! Oh, he took one with him! <laughs> Okay. Well, off to the races, taking teamwork to an, a new level, just sticking together, <laughs> clearing out the trench. <laughs> That's what you'd like to call it. <laughs> Storm Ginger running right into a hurricane. <laughs> and Zab is just picking him up from afar. And using that MP18 as well, so fully automatic fire there with it. That is a very powerful weapon and, and surprisingly accurate at long range in, a, in the hands of a good player. Zab just picking people off in the no man's land with that MP18. Zab leading the game right now with 18 kills. Uh, second place looks like uh, PC Tyler. Uh, behind him, Comrade Bravo with nine. Uh, so you can really see Zab um, even in a even in a game uh, where they are allowed to do uh, a little a little bit of trolling and a little bit of dickishness. Uh, they uh, I think it's he's very still safe. able to dominate. I think they're just kind of trying to have some fun with the match that uh, for them is clearly a, a pretty big stomp. And so they're just trying to enjoy themselves, uh, get get warmed up and get ready for that finals match that's, that's headed for them uh, versus 1E. Sam Nix using that uh, shovel class, going to try to run out across the no man's land and see if he can shovel cannon fodder before he gets executed. Doesn't quite make it. And I believe in the next nine seconds, unless Cannon, Cannon Fodder can get a foothold here, we are going to be seeing the end of the match. Uh, good job from SMW getting a capture on that trench. Uh, but ultimately, it is going to be a pretty decisive victory for PC. I think uh, I think that's an understatement. Beautifully played. It will be, it's going to be very exciting to see 1E with uh, with pest, con pest control. Indeed. That's the, I can't wait. Like that's It's just going to be gruesome. No, it's going to uh, be an epic best of three, and if any of the series in this tournament are going to go to three maps, I think it's likely to be that one. Should be interesting. I know we have uh, some history between PC, uh, especially between Zab and uh, and Zed from the 1E team. Uh, there's well, not, maybe... just that, not just that, but Zab and Emperor have been rivals, you know, playing against each other for pretty much the entire history of this game. So there's definitely there's a friendly rivalry there. Obviously, they're friends. They play together every once in a while. Uh, but there's definitely a rivalry there, and it's a long-standing one. So it'll be interesting to see uh, how that pans out. Also, it's gonna be a bloodbath, you guys. Uh, we we are uh, so happy you're sticking with us on on Twitch here. Thank you so much, chat. Uh, we are watching the Verdun North American Championships powered by OP Noobs. We are coming right back in just a few minutes with a third place match uh, between Cuck and, uh, and SMW. Uh, we will see what happens there. Can't wait to see you guys coming back in just a minute.